Welcome back, Theme Park Wizard, and in today's video, I thought it'd be a little fun to rank the three Disneyland Resort hotels. I'm going to do with only the official hotels, no good neighbor hotels, so we're only talking about the Grand Californian, Paradise Pier Hotel, and Disneyland Hotel. And I'm going to rank, rank them from my least favorite to my most favorite. And then you guys down below can link, rank them uh, according to whatever your list is. So right now, we're going to start with my least favorite, which is the Paradise Pier Hotel. Bills being cheap. Although, when I stayed at the Disneyland Hotel for the Galaxy's Edge opening, it wasn't much more expensive than the Paradise Pier Hotel. I'm talking maybe just $50 or so more. That's it. So, I don't know how cheap the Paradise Pier Hotel really is. But that is, it's in, it's in a converted building. They just renovated a very old building from like the 1900s. And it's just not, not pretty. On the inside, it's better but the elevators are terrible the exterior is terrible it really does need an update and um also the theme now doesn't make sense as pixar pier has taken over paradise pier so now there's a theme to land that no longer exists that's the change to the pixar pier hotel now i've heard in the past um that disney has wanted to demolish this hotel but they can't due to some kind of contract with the previous owner, which is a Japanese owner. And that contract like expires like in 2030 or something. So only after 2030 they, can they level the hotel and make a proper Disneyland hotel. If that's what it takes, I'll wait the extra 10 years. But definitely needs um, at least a cleaning or just kind of some exterior updating. But I feel like they're waiting for that contract to end. So they don't even want to touch the exterior, spend any money on it until that contract expires in which they can demolish the hotel but i feel like gosh there must be a way they can kind of buy out the contract or agreement from the japanese hotel owners maybe especially after now um the after covid that hotel owner may be in um and you know maybe 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 cash strapped and may need some money so maybe just maybe disney can get out get out of that deal faster and <laughs> Uh, tear down that hotel because the Paradise Pier Hotel is my least favorite and again It's not entirely cheap compared to the other at least the Disneyland Hotel on the property Next up is the Disneyland Hotel of course Like I said, it's not too much more expensive than the Paradise Pier Hotel and it is um, Far nicer each tower has gone through its own renovation over the past few years and I stayed there in 2019 for the Galaxy's Edge opening. I was in the Fantasy Tower. Um, the latest tower to get a renovation was beautiful. Um, the standard rooms are was pretty standard, but it was they're pretty modern, pretty nice. I liked it. The lobbies were very nice. And, of course, it has that awesome pool with the water side. I mean, Paradise Pier has a water side as well. This one has a nice pool complex. There's a bigger pool complex with a tiki bar. And they have Trader Sam's over there. It's really nice, and then they have um, lots of good restaurants on the ground floor, and it's just nice, nice ground, pro nice uh, property to walk the grounds. Also, very convenient to downtown Disney. It's right next to there, whereas Paradise Pier requires a little bit more walking. This one, you're right here at uh, downtown Disney. You can walk right into downtown Disney and then into the resort, which is exactly what we did for the Galaxy's Edge opening when we stayed there and it's just a very nice hotel it's about i paid about 569 well that's the base price but after taxes everything is like 687 for one night which is fairly pricey but again it's an official disneyland hotel none of the three hotels here are cheap and like nothing like the all-star value hotels in disney world as a disney one again has a value of space they have 27 hotels and they can really give a massive price range between the lowest and premium hotels. Here, we only have three, not a lot of space, and we rely on the, our good neighbor hotels for value. But if you want a Disneyland hotel, the Disneyland hotel is a great place to stay, and I highly recommend it. It's my number two spot, which obviously makes number one. Well, there's only one more choice left, but let's go dive deep into it.
Yes, number one, number uno, the Grand Californian. The Grand Californian is a beautiful hotel. It's my favorite hotel. It is basically it's the newest Disney ground up hotel at the Disneyland Resort. Um, it has a DVC unit, DVC wing attached to the side. And man, if I sure had the money, I'd definitely get a DVC unit over there in the Grand Californian. Um, the DVC unit was about to actually open up, but due to the latest safer at home order, it delayed its December 6th reopening. Hopefully, in the early part of next year, like January, it can reopen though, and maybe we'll take a nice tour, uh, video tour of that. But Grand California is just beautiful, and during the holidays, they have a, ma a massive gingerbread uh, sculpture of the hotel itself in the lobby. I like its rustic California vibe, that Northern California cabin type vibe going on. It is just very nice, very beautiful. It's a premium stay. Also, it's the really, I think the only hotel of three that have balconies. Also, there's an uh, exclusive interest into California Adventure for the hotel residents and annual pass holders if you're not part of the restaurant uh, residents, but which is great. The fact that you can ride a Grizzly River Run at 10 p.m. Park closed and you go right into uh back into your room right there and you can even look at Grizzly River Run or the credit coaster from your room and see fireworks and see world of color. It's a really a premium experience and it's definitely a bucket list out of my of mine to stay at the Grand Californian Hotel. So that concludes my list. Paradise Pier at number three, Disneyland Hotel at number two, and Grand Californian at num numero uno number one. Um, what is your list? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and more fun videos like this one. Like this one. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And as always, have a fantastic day.